little bit later. A supercell putting on an impressive lightning show yesterday. Reports of golf ball size hail yeah. involved with that storm, and nobody was hurt. Thankfully. Back here at home, mm -hmm. though, you are very busy watching well, a tornado we've, watch. We've got an active little uh, day going on, not just in our area, but across most of the central plains. Yes, the radar is active for us tonight. It's going to continue to be active throughout most of the evening. We'll likely see thunderstorms come through. The biggest question is, will they be severe and how strong? Let's guide you through that. First off, starting with the big picture on the radar. Take a look. We're not the only ones in the soup here this afternoon. Those red shaded areas you see are active tornado watches. Most of the state of Oklahoma under a tornado watch right now. Western Kansas, northern Texas, and the Kansas City metro area recently being placed in an active tornado watch. Let's go a little bit closer and just kind of show you what's happening with WeatherTrack radar. This gives you an idea of where things are at. There is an active severe thunderstorm warning in place right now between Topeka and just about the Turnpike area. The counties included there are Shawnee, Osage, Franklin, and Douglas. That warning is set to expire. In just about a half hour from now at 645. The main concern there would be some strong straight line wind at around 60 miles an hour. Not terribly concerned at this point in time with hail, nor at this point with a tornado. However, given the setup that we have in the atmosphere, there is a little bit of rotation going on in the atmosphere, a little bit of a shear going on, and that could produce a storm which may drop a tornado. So you got to heed these warnings very carefully this evening as all this moves its way to the north and northeast. Now, some are wondering how close is this to Kansas City? How how soon till it impacts our area. To give you an idea, it's about 62 miles away from KCI, and the storm is moving at around 45 miles an hour or so. So we're talking about an hour to about an hour and a half to put a storm track on there for you. Should be in the Lawrence area at around 6:45 or so. Overland Park at about quarter after seven, give or take a few minutes, if this storm continues on its current path and maintains its steam. It may slow down a bit. It could even fall apart a bit as it gets closer to the KC metro area. Nonetheless, it is one to watch. Quite a bit of thunder and lightning on that storm as well. And again, with the way the radar is showing how we go from next to nothing to these deep, deeper shades of orange, that's a good indication there of a tight gradient, meaning you'd see a lot of wind out ahead of that storm just along the leading edge of that storm. So again, we may see around 50 to 60 mile an hour winds with that storm as it moves off north and northeast. Tracking a couple of thunderstorms that we have here in northwest. Western Missouri and northeastern Kansas. Uh, no active warnings on those storms right now. They continue to drift off to about the north and northeast. So, back to that broad picture. The counties you see in red, that's the active tornado watch in place. The counties colored in yellow, severe thunderstorm warning right now, and that'll go until about 6 45. Main concern is going to be for some strong wind. Again, these counties in the active tornado watch until 11 o'clock tonight. We'll keep eyes on that and keep you updated, not just on air, but online as well. Make sure you have a way to get the warning storm shield, a great app to have. On a day like today. So if you're heading out to Kauffman Stadium, the game has already started. Maybe you're going late. Maybe you wanted to watch the weather. You know somebody who's out there. I think the first part of the game should be dry. The back half of the game, things may get a little dicey closer to 9 o'clock. Hopefully they can get that game in and dry before that round of showers and thunderstorms comes into play. The overall risk for severe weather later tonight, there'll be a second round of rain and thunderstorms that comes in. I'd be concerned with some flash flooding then and perhaps some wind. The overall tornado threat is low, but that does not mean zero. That's why we have the active watch in place. So again, make sure you heed all those warnings. Here's kind of a timeline of what to expect between now and 10 o'clock. The first round of thunderstorms moving through. Then I think after 10, mainly around midnight through about 4 a.m., a heavier batch of thunderstorms. Those should be non-severe, but a lot of thunder and lightning not out of the question. Then for tomorrow afternoon, we clear out, we go windy. And we go warm. A couple of quick live looks outside just to show you the clouds building into the area and to show you Kauffman Stadium right now. It's a little warm out there, 79 degrees. The wind out of the south southeast at 14 miles an hour. Other readings around the area, upper 70s to right around 80s. So certainly plenty of juice, plenty of energy in the atmosphere for those stronger showers and thunderstorms. But get this, we've got some change coming. Warm, windy, and humid tomorrow. But check out Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures taking a bit of a dip, 56. On Wednesday, with some rain, not necessarily thunderstorms, just rain, then more thunderstorm chances for Friday and next Saturday.